I think the way you fix scoring is to get more experienced, more competent judges, not to tinker around and have open scoring and the crowds booing and yelling and influencing the judges. I don't like open scoring. Talk about the mega fight between Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko. That's a great fight. That's going to happen this spring, and we're all looking forward to it. That's a terrific fight. I can't wait to see that fight. Does that fight belong in Madison Square Garden? Well, I, you know, Madison Square Garden certainly wants that fight, and I'm not going to say it belongs there because that would hurt my negotiation. <laughs> How historic would it be if Teofimo beat Lomachenko at such a young age? Well, it would be a tremendous, 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 tremendous accomplishment. But it's not easy to beat Lomachenko. Would you, what, would you think about what you think about Tank's performance, his last performance against Gamble? Hello. Great. Great. Could I mean I'll tell you later. I'm doing some interviews, and then I'll, I'll call you. What'd you think about Tank's performance against Gamboa? Who? Uh, Gam Tank. Tank Davis. Look. If Gamboa had a torn Achilles tendon, I don't know how the hell you fight with a torn, I've had a torn Achilles tendon. I was on my ass till I, till I sewed it up and the boot and everything. How the hell you fight when you have an Achilles tendon? I don't know what he's having. So how, you know, a guy with a, with a ruptured Achilles tendon can't fight, can't walk. I don't know. So how, how do you judge that fight? You can't. I mean, is Tank a, 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 a good fighter? Yeah, he's a hell of a fighter. But you can't judge it on that performance. Uh, one question I also had. Uh, have, you, have you and Eddie Hearn had discussions about Anthony Joshua and Pulev? Yes, we certainly have. We certainly have. That fight is going to happen probably in April or May. And we're finalizing details this coming week. Bob Aaron, everyone love you. You're a pioneer. And here we are back at the heavyweight champion platform. I mean, give me some feedback on how uh, wonderful it is, you know, to keeping it live. Ever since you've been around, you have been doing that. So what is your take on this big fight with Fury and uh, Deontay Wilder? Well, when I first signed Fury, Fury asked me, why are you doing this, he said. And I said, because I believe, Tyson, uh, that this would be another pillar in my career. Because I started with Muhammad Ali, I did 25 fights for Ali, and then I was privileged to handle the comeback career of Big George Foreman, and now Tyson Fury. So for me, it's great. For me, it's great. There's nothing like it. You know, I remember I was a young man when Ali fought Fraser, and, uh, and now I'm not a young man, so, but I still get the same kick of it, out of it that I did then. So now a whip. shutting down the lights here in a few okay. minutes, so yes. please wrap up. Please okay, wrap up. one last question. In regards to now, uh, in the same rink with the uh, PBC and top rank, uh, everything is now coming to like a head where, how, how do you feel about the other promoters now? I think promoters, should work together to do the best fights. That's what we've tried to do. I mean, last summer, we had Lomachenko go over to England to fight Campbell, and Eddie Hearn was the promoter. We work with Frank Warren. Promoters should work, and we've done a lot of fights together with Golden Boy. The idea that promoters uh, silo themselves off from other promoters is ridiculous. We all have an obligation to be, do the best fights possible. And I think with this fight, with PBC and top rank, you'll see a complete change because I must say, working with the PBC people, they're all terrific, they're all professionals, everybody's working to the same goal. Any Thank message you. to Anthony Joshua? Any message to Dr. Joshua? More than all time greats, Mike Tyson, Joe Frazier, and Lennon Solis. Stand at his mom's on me for the 5th longest of all time. The 2008 Olympic bronze medalist is another time to have highlight knockouts and recently shown his generous side by visiting with Pope Francis and being an important player in basketball and sports. He comes in with a record of 42 wins, zero losses, and one very famous draw. Today, he's 41 of his 42.
two men to come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Tuscaloosa, Alabama, here's the undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. All right, you guys face off here on the stage. While you do that, I'd like to invite our two fighters to take their respective seats here. We're going to have to move to the front. Don't make me have to break this up, boys. you got to stay for November 22nd. Let's go. We can only hope the fight is as good as the staring contest. I'm going to be able to be off. So, I'm going to be off. 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 I'm going to be off